So this will be at least my third Kaching build video, but still, 500 times per stream, people are asking about my Kaching build. I know, she's impressive. And fair enough, I do switch around her gear from time to time. Recently, I have swapped around her gear pretty drastically, and I haven't made a video about it. What's up with that? Hey, it's Moga, it's 5 in the morning, I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but let's talk about artifacts and weapon and stuff, and we'll see some gameplay a bit later. I think her actual build and talking about her build is going to be more important for this. We're getting super close to my next milestone of 125k subscribers. Would be so cool. Amazing. Immaculate. You very handsome man. Or... or lady. I don't... Anyway, I don't know if I even finished my thought, but let's go ahead and talk about Kaching. Um, as you can see here, because, you know, who wants to do math at 5 in the morning? 832? What, what? What is this? 1972 attack. You know, it could be more, it's not the most impressive, but she also does have 75 crit rate, 182% crit damage, I think that's pretty impressive. You know, not a lot of energy recharge, who cares when she's doing 90% of her damage with basic attacks anyway. And uh, the only other notable thing is a uh, decent amount of physical damage bonus here. It's a pretty nice kaching you got there, Moga. As for weapon, we're rocking the free-to-play black sword. That's not actually free-to-play because you need to buy the battle pass, but it's pretty much free-to-play if you compare it to, like, a refined 6 Aquilius Fevolnius, whatever the hell. Sorry, I get weird at 5 a.m. Deal with it. In we have really weird artifacts here we have like one gladiator what, what what is all this garbage what okay if you look very closely it's actually two piece sets and this is the off piece yeah i know that kind of threw you for a loop there it's okay man i got it i got it, it this is the off piece it's a goblet physical damage bonus sub stats are better than you know the previous off piece this one did have 15 percent attack which was fine now it's on uh, my shanling i've been doing a lot of work on her too yeah you know we got almost 10 crit right here which is pog um, oh no, I'm saying Pog in YouTube videos as well now. I've been streaming too long already. Any- Does anyone actually say Pog? I feel so old. I don't know if it's just something you type. Back on topic, this is indeed her off piece. You may be asking, why do you have a physical damage goblet when you also have Thundering Fury? Why don't you pick a site and stick to it? Well, I'm not- I I'm not about that life. I like her to be able to do some okay Electro when- when the need arises. And, um... But yeah, her physical is pretty OP too. Here's her hourglass, it is attack percent. I've shown this one off probably six times. I'm getting tired of seeing that 19.7% defense, honestly. Um, but yeah, there it is. Does have a decent amount of crit damage, which is cool. Uh, Gladiator Triumphus, crit damage main stat, of course. You know, that's in-game stuff right there. Crit rate is for the noobs. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. But yeah, if you do have a crit rate weapon, then... And some decent subs, you should be able to get them. Pretty decent helmet. We got Gladiator Feather, 10.9 crit rate at 9.3 attack. Um, it's it's also pretty good. And the flower with its uh, massive 14.8 crit rate. So yeah, pretty solid amount of crit rate all around. You know, once she does her ult, she, she effectively has over 90% crit rate. So, you know, some, some pretty nice crits in there. I wouldn't want her crit rate to be so much higher because then like her ult talent is pretty useless. And I wonder if that's where some of the confusion came from, from this, like, crit cap. Because, like, for for some heroes like Kaching, you know, she effectively does have a crit cap. You know, you never really want more than 85%. You can do her ult pretty often, and it's a nice 8 seconds of that boost. I think that's pretty much it as far as the artifacts are concerned. Um, I, I, again, my reasoning for going to Gladiator, to Thundering Fury, is just to have her balanced. You know, most of the time you're going Thundering and Gladiator, you have like an electro cup, I would imagine. Truth is, I like it like this. She does a good amount of damage, and she is slightly more versatile. Granted, if I did have like really good physical pieces, like if this was, you know, good, which it's not, or this, if it was good, but it's not, you know, I would definitely consider it going like just full, you know, physical build. But I mean, ultimately it comes down to what you got, and how am I gonna replace this almost 15 crit rate flower? I don't get that kind of luck. You know? Except once in a blue moon. I could replace this hourglass pretty easy peasy. I wouldn't really miss the 18 crit damage if I could get maybe a little bit more crit rate or whatever else. Maybe some attack. I don't even have a single of these. Probably I deleted them all because they were all garbage. Like 99% of other artifacts. And um, yeah, that's just what it is, man. Even though she's not massively strong in physical or electro, she's kind of balanced in that way. Definitely leaning on physical though because of the goblet. She is by far the best she can be for me right now. Um, regardless. So, you know, if I took the best stuff I could give and gave her a two-piece 
you know, Gladiator, two-piece, Bloodstained Chivalry, she would be worse in both physical and electro. All right, I think you get what I'm trying to say. Moving on to Constellation, we do have her at C1. I'm by no means a whale. I just got, kind of got lucky. You can see we have a total of five, five stars, and, you know, a C1 Kaching. Everyone else is obviously at C0, you know, because again, I'm not a massive whale. C1, unfortunately, is not all that great unless I'm misunderstanding something, but I don't think I am. It seems pretty simple. She'll explode a little bit. 50% of her attack is AoE electro damage from where she blinks to where she blinks while doing her E. Um, it's cool, nice little, but definitely ki kind of like I could easily live without it. C2 already sounds a lot better with that little particle there. C4 would be pog.p and G. 25% attack boost whenever she does any electro related elements. But come, come on, that's good. And then, of course, C6 when she does literally anything she gains a six percent electro damage bonus well i guess it's only a max of 24 percent electro damage bonus so i'm totally fine having her at c1 c4 is where it's at though over on talents we have 987 being a physical leaning build i will get her basic attack up first just waiting on those to roll in hell even if you were electro based i'd probably still consider getting uh you know basic attack up first just because you know when she does her e this is also electro damage then. Well, what's kind of funny is that uh, someone in my Discord, in my useful links section, shared a sort of uh, little build guide for Kaching as well in this uh, image here. Credit for this very beautiful image goes to uh, Gobelin. Hope you don't mind I show it here. Very well done. But they actually say uh, Thunder Soother is the, uh, there's, there's a little like a one there, like number one. Thunder Soother has been an artifact set I've been really interested in for Kaching but um, again, it's just one of those things where I never really got good pieces, so I haven't really been able to uh, try it out. And yeah, you know, it just sounds good. Just a straight up 35% damage increase. And with someone like Kaching, you know, she has her E, her Q, then they have Gladiator slash Thundering Fury, which we have, but this is for the Electro Queen Kaching. And uh, we, we are definitely physical queen here, but this pretty much just ties back to what I was saying about, you know, substats and all that. Uh, ultimately, substats are huge. Maybe a lot of like new players don't understand how big substats are because um, it's like, you know, oh, well, it has 10% energy recharge, 15% attack, but I'm getting 60% physical damage bonus here. Like legitimately, if I was trying to make a set and I had only garbage pieces from that set, I would absolutely first go complete broken, you know, a complete broken set. So random pieces for all of them. You know how we do goblet that m makes no sense because the set's useless for her off pieces for everything. I would do that first before trying to force a set with horrible substats. Naturally, if you have decent artifacts that also fall into the set you want, of course, the set bonus is powerful as well. But that's our build. Do we actually need to do any gameplay? Well, it's been a while since we tried to solo uh, Oceanid. I wonder if we can do that in the meantime. Are we any better? We are close. Ah, this dude. All right. Boom, iframe. Get oh, you can't iframe that? Oh, wait, this? I know that works. Let's just try and kill those real quick. They are dangerous. Oh, wow. What happened to us? Oh, yeah. This is a level 91 Oceanid now. I forgot about that part. Okay, we're dead and I don't want to do And we probably shouldn't go into Viridescent to try and get some good numbers because we kind of recently did that with pretty much the same team set up here. I just hope they have their ults. Chi Chi does not. That would be important. Oh, she's so close. Will that boar give us any orbs? I don't think so, actually. Wait, come, come back. That board just exploded, man. I guess to have it really the same, we need to also eat physical damage food like we did on her account. Pretty sure it was this one. So, starting with Vinti. Chi Chi, Q. Barbara for book boost. Superconduct, there we go. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I got some 20Ks, and since that sacks twice, it's actually about 40K. Oh, wow. Well, that was pretty... Pretty quick. Do I actually want Viridescent anymore? Yeah, sure, I guess. Shao's coming. He wants Viridescent. At least the two-piece. I don't know if I got any good, like, thumbnail-worthy stuff, though. It was kind of all clumped up. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. I don't know if it'll go that smoothly, because, like, the Electro Mage always, like, tries to go away. Nah. And we're not even getting any, any 20Ks anymore. This one went way worse. I don't know if they were even super conducted. I may have waited too long. Infused uh, Barbara's water. Damn, that first run must have been fast because we also got a 57 second here. And uh, 
That one was way slower, but we didn't stop at the key and talk about stuff for a while. Feather that time. Let's go ahead and check out those artifacts real quick. Oh, we also have some new gladiators. Oh yeah, we were raising Shanling. Um, trash. No cryo units that want that. Meh. Viridescent. Pretty bad. Maybe. Could be decent, actually. Depends on the fourth sub. Physical damage bonus gladiator with crit rate and crit damage. Okay, that is actually pretty pog. Holy god. Damn. That means I could have a different off piece? Jeez. That's a lucky one. Wow. That's actually incredible. That might be one of my best pieces yet, or potentially best pieces. Flat HP there is ruining it. I want to get that up to four just to see the last one. Please be something decent. Please. Ooh, 5x. It's it's HP percent. Well, now we're going to get it up to eight. Come on, crit rate. Oh, well, crit damage. Oh, wow, I'm almost out of five-star artifacts. Yeah, I've been kind of using those to raise my stuff. I mean, I have locked a lot as well. You can probably see them down here. Yeah, these are, are all the ones with like any sort of potential, bad potential, most of them, but they have like maybe a, a redeeming quality. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I just skipped Gladiator because I'm not really comfortable throwing any five-star Gladiators in, even if they look bad, because Gladiator is kind of a versatile set, but like mostly with Maiden's Beloved, unless it's like super good looking, I'm not going to bother with it. Like this one, it's just kind of meh. I can't imagine anyone that wants crit rate and Maiden Beloved. I just can't, like DPS Barbara is a meme, right? I would need crit rate to go up at least like once, please game. That would be amazing. Give it to us, give it to us. <sighs> HP. Why am I even raising a third physical damage bonus cup anyway? I have a good enough one and my set is fine. Moga, what the hell is wrong with you? You, you you just raised a physical why are you addicted to raising physical damage cups why did why doesn't the game ever give me an electro damage cup how about that you know give me some options maybe i would raise that instead maybe i could consider a consider a electro kaching i don't know no bird you what come back here you win this time y'all want to see some sick slime slaughtering well, watch this Oops, I forgot that I... Nah, it's fine. Super conducted. Bomp. Bada bing. My Kachin gets everything. She gets all the love. The, re the rest of my units are garbage. It's only her, really. <laughs> and so if I've raised 18 physical damage cups to get a slightly better one, that's what I'm gonna do. Because, yeah. I, I guess I'm a simp. Man, look at me go. Learning all the cool kid words. Simp. Even though I think that's probably dying out already. Poggers. And I think that's also dying out because people like me are starting to use it. Oh yeah, I recently learned ratioed. Like, I, I was on Twitter and randomly pe people keep saying get ratioed or uh, ju just big caps of ratioed. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? Like, like I know what a ratio is. So I actually Googled it and apparently it's when uh, there are not enough likes to compensate for the amount of like retweets and comments. So it's like you had a bad take or something because more people are like replying to you than liking your stuff. What the hell's wrong with people? That'll do it. Make sure to tell me anything in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video. If you did happen to enjoy, it's always greatly appreciated as well. Once again, a reminder because a lot of people just simply forget to subscribe to my amazing content. I know, I know, I forget to subscribe to other creators too. It's fine. We all make mistakes. But for one easy click, Payment, not a payment, it's completely free. One easy click of 19.95, and you will get sort of may maybe every now and then a video, not often, I guess, just because it's YouTube, but why am I still talking? I don't know, why, why am I making a video at five in the morning? Nothing makes sense anymore. Can 2020 end already? Bye.